Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are talking about Halo Infinite, Street Fighter, The Game Awards, and Hyper Light Drifter. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, if you're a fan of Halo and you're still interested in Halo Infinite, even after the lackluster gameplay trailer that they showed a little while back, well, your perseverance has paid off. Today, we got some great news. There was an interview posted on HaloWaypoint.com that contained some great information, including a release window. If everything goes according to plan and there are no further delays, Halo Infinite will be shipping in fall of 2021. So expect to see it next year around September, October, or even November. And some more good news. For those worried about the game, there is a huge section dedicated to art and graphics. They talk about the updated graphics in the game, how the original graphics in the demo weren't really up to par. They acknowledge it and they are working on improving them. And although this is generally good news, some people might be upset to learn that their beloved Craig here will be getting a makeover. But who knows, maybe Craig will gain even more fans after the update. Next up in the news, we have some information about the Game Awards. I don't know about you, but I was a little bit let down with 2019's Game Awards and I'm hoping 2020's is going to be good. The Game Awards is kind of in a weird position. In my opinion, it could be a lot better than it currently is. And if you take a look at the size of the industry, the gaming industry dwarfs the Hollywood industry. So if you're comparing this to the Oscars or something, technically this should be bigger. For the 2019 awards, I found that the actual award presentations themselves were a little bit rushed. There were a bunch of awards that just got read in front of the screen and no one came up to accept them. And I know this year is going to be a little bit different due to the whole pandemic but I'm hoping that they spend more time on the actual award winners, let the game developers speak, let everybody who accepts the awards speak and don't just rush over them and gloss over them for the next advertisement. Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite parts about the game awards are the game reveals. And fortunately this year, we know how many game reveals there are going to be. Jeff Keighley was featured on Reddit for an Ask Me Anything, and someone specifically asked that question. So the question asked, I saw five reveals for the 2020 pre-show. Do you have a total on the number of main show reveals? And Jeff stated, I think around 12 to 15 or so. So let's do the math on this one. The show is two and a half hours long. That works out to 150 minutes. Now let's say there are 13 game reveals. It's more than 12, but less than 15. That works out to one game reveal every 11 and a half minutes. I'm okay with that. And if for some reason you missed the Game Awards show, I've got you covered and I'll do a video afterwards. Next up, if you're an Eureka fan, a Fexel fan, or a Street Fighter fan, you might be excited that Skullamania is kind of making their way into Street Fighter V. There will be a Skullamania costume 4G and you can pick it up via the extra battle mode starting today. Now, I don't even play as G, but I am excited about this costume and I'm sure as heck going to try to pick it up. It's only available until December 23rd. And last, but definitely not least, if you're a Hyper Light Drifter fan and you have a Nintendo Switch, Limited Run has just released a Hyper Light Drifter Special Edition. Included in this Special Edition is a physical version of the game with a reversible cover, a lenticular Rosetta card, a sticker, a companion keychain, a poster, a game manual, a two full CD original soundtrack, as well as a fancy box. Now priced at 60 bucks, I think this falls on the higher side of reasonable, but it's still reasonable and it still falls in line with pretty much everything else on LRG's site. It is a physical edition and I think this will be probably of interest to collectors and huge fans of the game. If you have never played Hyper Light Drifter before, you don't necessarily need to spring for this. You can just pick it up digitally on the eShop for 20 bucks. Save yourself 40 bucks. It's an amazing game and I do recommend at least trying it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on anything I talked about in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.